I wanted to live we, with a person. We can go for missions. Mm -hmm. We can serve the Lord mm -hmm. in Aishia Hapo. You have built your new yes, home, exactly. magnificent home. Yes. You have moved in, yeah, moved in. And now God speaks. God speaks. <laughs> Reminds you yes. that I spoke to you I some years back. Some years back. <laughs> she told me, remember, young man, <laughs> what we said. Mkataba we ni kwamba mimi si mkisija, si mka wapasa ni tawai kuwa mka wapasa. Hello, hello, and good evening. It is great, and it is always, always pleasure having you on board. This is Kapo's Will Show, and this is where we write down our love will well, we are alive, but we don't want our story to be read when we are six feet under. And it is 18th of February, yes, the month of love. And I want to thank all of you who came for the couple's will dinner last Friday. Pale Verona. It was fire. Man, you guys, we had fun. Those who missed it, it was fun. You know, Pastor Sue and Bunene, the Twatua couple, they they did it. They did it. It was it was awesome. Thank you very much for coming. And soon. We are planning another one. Yes. If you missed this one, kindly do not miss out this one. Because we had great fun. You know, we learned a lot. There was a lot of learning. Oh my goodness. I don't know. And so thank you very much for, for, for coming to that dinner. We are very, very much grateful. And so from Couples Will Crew, kindly receive Shukrani zetu, asantini sana. And tonight, it is yet another Friday. And you know how we do it? Yes, this is where we gather every Friday. And we bring different couples to come and share their love story with us. How it has been and how it is. And tonight, I am so much excited because I am hosting a lovely couple. This is not just a couple, but... Parents, how and wazazi wangu, and I am so delighted to have them here. They have been married for one, two, three, thirty-seven years. Mtumoja, hajawai enda, ada hajawai fikiria kuenda. You'll be blessed by their story. Hi, Dad. Hi, son. Hello. Hi, mom. Hi to you, too. Yes, yes. Good to have you here. Thank you. Finally. Yes, finally. We, <laughs> we are, are here. here. Yes. At Wema TV. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much for coming. Well, we are very much. Uh, thank you for also for welcoming us here yes. on this uh, wonderful, wonderful TV. Yes. Where you're dealing with the family matters. Yes. If there's anything that touches God is concerning family matters. Yes. Because this is an institution mm -hmm. that was implemented, mm -hmm. invented, mm -hmm. and planned, mm -hmm. and, they, and, they, and it worked mm -hmm. through God. Yes. Then God transferred it mm -hmm. to man yeah. to continue mm -hmm. so that uh, we can be able to have what we call human resource. Yes. Family is the only uh, is the only unit, mm -hmm. is the only uh, unit that pro can produce no other place mm -hmm. where we can have mm -hmm. uh, human resource yes. other than through here. Wow. Mm -hmm. You can tell that he is a teacher. Oh, yes. He is a teacher by profession. And kindly, Salimianeni, you can introduce yourself to our viewers. Oh, okay. And maybe you can start with mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I'm Ernestine Kagendo Mutegi, and I'm a born again Christian, and uh, I love the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. as my personal Savior, mm. and I've seen His faithfulness throughout that time He called me into salvation, mm. and I know for sure what He has purposed in my life, mm. He will bring it to accomplishment. Mm. Otherwise, we have been married 
for that seven years. Wow. And I thank God for the victory that yeah. he has given us mm -hmm. in the times of happiness and also in times of challenges. Mm -hmm. He has been a good road. Amen. Yeah. Wow. Thank yeah. you very much for coming. Yeah. And uh, now it is your turn. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, my name is uh, Bishop Dr. Patrick Mutegi Ridiri from Tharaka Nidhi County, the strong old county. Yes. I love Jesus as my personal savior. I got saved back in school in Form 1 uh, some years ago. That is uh, on the 6th of February, uh, 1975. Uh, and that's when I met with Christ. I was not born in a Christian family. I was born in a traditional family. My father used to bring medicine men in our house. Those are the people that I met uh, the first time. So it was the grace of God that I am born again. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been married to this girl mm -hmm. for those years. Yes. That uh, eight years. Yes. And um, we, we, we thank God for the way the Lord brought us together. Yes. But before that, we, I served the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thank God because when, when I met her and we agreed, we have been together after we got married on 7th of December uh, 1985. We have never looked back. We burned the, the branches of divorce. Mm -hmm because we believe we are strong believers of the word of God mm -hmm. and we know that divorce does not give any solution mm -hmm. and uh, it, it, we, we do not even give a, you know, a picture to the community mm -hmm. or to our children. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am also a father. Uh, I am a father of uh, three adults and um, the two, uh, two of them are married. I'm also a grand Father, but uh, according to the lineage of Christianity, even my own grandchildren, I call them my children. Yes. Because that is what I would call the Motegi generation. Mm -hmm. And therefore, because I'm a generational man, mm -hmm. uh, those are also my sons. Yes. Yes. I am also a trained teacher. Um, and uh, I served the Lord for quite a number of years in teaching profession as I was preaching the gospel. And, but uh, the Lord called me later on and now I left the teaching and I've seen the Lord provide. Amen. Yes. And you are a bishop, you minister with... Uh... Yes, I'm a bishop, I minister with the Gospel Celebration Church, which is uh, led by presiding bishop, Dr. Sami Gitari, who is now stationed at uh, Gevrai uh, 45. Uh, but I'm in um, what we call Mount Kenya East region, and um, Bishop is here in uh, Nairobi region. Yes. So I serve under that great man. Yeah. And uh, I love him. Yes. And I love ministry. Yes. Yes. Wow. Mm. Thank you very much. Yes. And you can tell that we are going to have a wonderful time with this lovely couple. And so as he's talking about the Mutegi's generation, I am part of that generation and my name is Willie Kinyash the undisputed and after the couple's dinner they gave me another name Dr. Love and so Karibuni Sana so Bishop yes sir where and how did you meet with your lovely wife now the man I'm calling my bishop <laughs> we have grown together mm -hmm. in the same village mm. we went to neighboring schools mm -hmm. and after form five and form six mm -hmm. um we taught the same school mm -hmm. as untrained teachers mm -hmm. after form six mm -hmm. and uh, when my bishop was uh, in form five and six they i was at nyeri mm -hmm. kagumo and uh, my wife was a student at MTC mm -hmm. in Yeri. Mm -hmm. They happened to meet in fellowships mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day uh, after Bishop Gitari uh, finished and we were teaching, mm -hmm. so she came to, 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 to visit. 
to visit who? To visit Bishop. Bishop. Yes. yes. Because now she was known By to then her. Bishop was just a brother. Yes, was just a brother. So, so you are so, brothers. Yeah, yes, we are brothers. So yes. he came, he came just to visit a friend yeah. and a brother in Christ. <laughs> So after that uh, is when I saw and the Lord spoke to me about this. The Lord this spoke? Guy. Yes. The Lord spoke? Yes. The what Lord did he say? The, <laughs> 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 yeah. the Lord told me this is a woman that I have kept for you. Wow. And uh, because I'm also... And you had it clearly. Yes, I had it clearly. Yes. And... Uh, so we we, we 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 fellowship without me uh, saying anything mm -hmm. uh, for quite some time, mm -hmm. and uh, later on, now uh, it happened uh, when I went uh, approaching her, mm -hmm. she kept silent. <laughs> I waited. So you are given a she silent treatment. Kept, yes. Yeah. She kept because she's also very. She's also she has been a very serious lady even now. Mm -hmm. She doesn't jump jump into things mm -hmm. without uh, without things mm -hmm. uh, without being uh, you know true mm -hmm. at what she's doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was kept silent for eleven months. Eleven months. Eleven months. So generation Y. Are you hearing? For 11 months. <laughs> and in Yamaziwa. <laughs> 11 months. In Yamaziwa, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> 11 months. <laughs> but uh, we thank God because God has got his own way. Mm -hmm. This lady almost went with another man. I also almost went with another woman. Mm -hmm. Because of that period. Mm -hmm. It was as serious as that. Mm -hmm. But you see, one of the things that I believe, mm -hmm. I believe when God says something, Mm. He has said it. Yes. And if he has to change, mm -hmm. then he has to come in such a way that you have to explain the changes better than what he had done before. Mm. So, um, after that, mm -hmm. very miraculously, God brought us together again. Mm -hmm. I'm saying she almost went mm -hmm. with another man. Yeah. I also went almost Always went. went with another lady. lady. Mm -hmm. But you see, in our time, mm -hmm. in relationship, mm -hmm. um, if you are relating with a lady, there are things, there are boundaries mm -hmm. that you have to put. Yeah. There are places you are not supposed to go. Mm -hmm. We are very serious. Mm -hmm. There are places you can't pass. Mm -hmm. Because that is what makes a man or a woman of God. Mm -hmm. You have to keep. You don't have to keep... Uh, goes and then you keep on moving go post mm -hmm. you have to make sure that where you have pl placed it it's there yes and god made it sure mm -hmm. that we have come back together yes and uh, the day now after those years mm -hmm. she said yes i happened that uh, my bishop that time was getting married mm -hmm. My friend Bishop, he was not, we were not pastors. Yeah. Was getting married mm -hmm. and he happens to, you know, we, we arranged the, the wedding and I happened to be the transport manager mm -hmm. of the wedding. Yes. Of um, Bishop Gitari. Yes. And uh, Reverend Rose. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and she had said after mm -hmm. the process of your duty in this wedding. Mm -hmm. I want to see you. No, Bishop Kitari. Uh -uh. Or her. Her. Uh -huh. I want to see you. Yes. So now, uh -huh. I have another very close brother uh -huh. who is called Dr. Kanga, who is now the Dean of Students, Chuka University, mm -hmm. Presentry. Mm -hmm. I told and Dr. Kanga keep busy this lady. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> you are so, a wise man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> keep busy this lady uh -huh. and uh, make sure that she doesn't go before I see her. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. So after everything, mm -hmm. so when we went down, mm -hmm. because in our time, mm -hmm. uh, we were, because there were very few young people that were born again, mm -hmm. we were very strict mm -hmm. the way we handled ourselves. Mm -hmm. 
if I am with a lady, mm. I didn't used to be alone with a lady. Mm -hmm. I should have another young man of my own. Yeah. Even if we are not just uh, very close, mm -hmm. but somebody is around. Yes. Uh, you know, to make sure that things Everything are okay. is, yes. Because we want them to, uh, to make Walking sure that light. these people mm. know that they are salvation mm. of the young people. Mm. So after that, uh, at that evening, that's one moment. And I want, to, I want you to stop there so that I can bring in mom. <laughs> yes. And then we'll pick it from there. Mm -hmm. You have told your brother. Yes. Keep your eyes, keep, your keep eyes her on, busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I want us to bring uh, mom. Why 11 months? Uh, for one, <laughs> me, I used to believe in prayers. Uh -huh. And uh, I had prayed unto the Lord mm -hmm. that before I commit myself to somebody, mm -hmm. I would be quite sure. It is God who wants me to go with that man mm -hmm. uh, because I had observed uh, the challenges that uh, used to be there even in families. Mm -hmm. uh, you could hear there is a lot of uh, problems, people are fighting mm -hmm. and I just wanted somebody who is serious mm -hmm. in salvation whereby mm -hmm. I believed. Mm -hmm. He would not lay his hands on me, yeah. even beating me. So for you, the biggest fear you had, yeah. it's a man laying uh, yeah. his hands on you, and, also and, and he's not praying for you. Yeah. <laughs> and also, he should be a God-fearing person, that I get an assurance mm -hmm. from God. Mm -hmm. It is a God-fearing person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you know uh, uh, last week on Monday, there is there's something we were discussing somewhere, about men and love and uh, one of the things we were talking about is that men fear love because they fear rejection you didn't feel like this man might feel like he's rejected not really mm -hmm. because uh, even beforehand mm -hmm. and even after him mm -hmm. i had been approached by very many brothers mm -hmm. and some of them could think that i'm proud mm -hmm. Uh, but personally, I was seeking the will of God mm -hmm. upon every person mm -hmm. that could come on my way. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, for him to wait for 11 months, mm -hmm. I was in prayer. For those 11 months? Yes, mm -hmm. and in the process, the Lord spoke to me. Mm -hmm. uh, but the answer was not concrete. Mm -hmm. As I was praying, a voice came. Mm -hmm and told me, he didn't, he didn't tell me a no, mm -hmm. but he told me, wait for God's time and more time. So God's time and, and more, more time. time. So <laughs> now, <laughs> when uh, I, I went and told him like that, mm -hmm. he thought that I had refused. Mm -hmm. But you see now, I could not do it immediately. Yeah. So I had a spiritual mother who brought me, who helped me to get into salvation. Mm -hmm. And she was a good intercessor. She mm -hmm. is uh, Mary Wairimo Madangani. She is mm -hmm. living in America. Mm -hmm. I, she went there immediately that we left uh, Corinth. Mm -hmm. So because we had a lot of confidence with her because she was more of a mother to us, mm -hmm. I went and shared with her mm -hmm. what the Lord has spoken to me. Mm -hmm. uh, she told me no. No, this is it is it is God. Mm -hmm. I'm not refusing, mm -hmm. but me what I really had as I was praying mm -hmm. is wait for God's time mm -hmm. and for more time. Mm -hmm. So and also God had shown her mm -hmm. in a vision. Mm -hmm. In fact, she came to know him after we were married. Mm -hmm. So she saw we were pulling one another. One was on that side, mm -hmm. and the other one was inside. We mm -hmm. were really pulling one another. Me na 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 kujau pande na anajifuta upande yomengine. But in the vision that she was shown, mm -hmm. she saw one time. Mm -hmm. Now we came to one side, mm -hmm. and we shake our hands. Mm -hmm. So now I told her I will still wait upon God's sign. Mm -hmm. and uh, as we continued praying, the Lord allowed us, mm -hmm. and that's how. I agreed. Wow. Even for marriage. So how, how, how did you know now this is the right time? I think God wanted it to be that time mm -hmm. because I was feeling convinced. Mm -hmm. 
that in my heart now you know there's a time you reach you mm. feel this thing mm. is supposed to be this way yeah. because you have been praying if mm. you have been having fellowship with god mm. uh, somehow somehow you know mm -hmm. when the lord mm -hmm. has confirmed what he wanted ah. so as you are talking with that sister i told her what i know mm -hmm. uh, is that we, we have to take a process mm -hmm. about tavutana mm -hmm. but one time mm -hmm. we shall come as the lord has shown you mm -hmm. but no time mm -hmm. Not this time, yeah, but uh, at a time later, mm. yeah. Wow. Mm. So during this wedding, mm -hmm. you are telling uh, Bishop that you want to see him after the wedding. Mm. So this is the time you wanted to break the news, or yeah. Let's hear from him. You have told your brother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keep your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Keep your house eyes on that girl. Don't let her go. Yes. Until I finish what I'm doing. <laughs> you yeah, finished your I, business? Yes, I, I finished my business. It was on 1st of uh, September uh, 1984. 1984. Now, that is a very special day for us. Mm -hmm. That is the day when my bishop got married. Mm -hmm. That was her birthday. Who? Ah, your wife. Yes, yes, yes. my wife's mm -hmm. birthday uh -huh. on 1st of September. Mm -hmm. It is when my mother and my father-in-law got married hey. on 1st of September. Uh -huh. So it's a very special, it's the day I asked her. Uh -huh. It is the day she agreed to marry me. 1st of September. 1st of so 1st of September means a lot to you. It means a lot to me. Wow. Yes. We wow. celebrate so many things mm -hmm. on that day. Mm -hmm. That's the day she agreed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at, uh, around uh, seven in the evening. You can even remember the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. I can almost remember the clothes she was wearing. And we are talking about that eight years ago. Yeah, that seven years. Yes. That uh -huh. Seven years. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I keep. I. I'm a man of history. I'm a man of who keeps history. Uh huh. Because I remember even the day I took her to introduce her to my parents, I, I have the photo, mm -hmm. the clothes that she was wearing on that day. Wow. So I have the photo mm -hmm. of that clothes even today. Mm -hmm. So on that day, mm -hmm. she told me, yes, it was one of the sweetest days. How did you feel? Hey, I felt, I felt now I have, I have begun. After waiting yeah, for 11 for months. 11 months. Yes. Uh, you are almost celebrating yes. your birthday. <laughs> 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 hey, so from there, uh -huh. um, things okay. <laughs> now we we uh, and and you see mm -hmm. because we and I was still a student mm -hmm. because I went to school when I was a little bit eight. That time I was almost finishing my college. Mm -hmm. uh, then. In fact, we had come from, from a very fruitful mission mm -hmm. uh, in August. Mm. Uh, August we, um, uh, 84, when there was a famine all over this nation, mm -hmm. uh, we planned a very great mission. Mm -hmm. Then after that, of the, the mission is when I was coming so that my bishop would went. Mm -hmm. And that's after that is when that day is when she agreed. Wow. And... Uh, I felt uh, I, uh, I have now begun mm -hmm. another chapter. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. So after now she accepted, now you started planning for the wedding? Yeah, we mm -hmm. started We started planning mm -hmm. because um, now again, I was uh, still, I was still putting on my house because those days mm -hmm. you will not get married as a young man without a without house. house. You have to have your home house not a rented house your own your, your own, own built your own built wow yes mm -hmm. and I, I was putting a i put i had uh, put a, a house mm -hmm. by that time it was one of the best houses in the village it was a three bedroom house wow a timber house mm -hmm. with a hardy floor mm -hmm. and a table room mm -hmm. and it uh, and uh, no wooden windows but with glass, uh, uh -huh. plain glass. Wow. Yes, wow. you can see. Yes. At that time, that yes. was what, mm -hmm. a house and a half. Yes. And um, 
uh, again because I'm a man who believes also mm -hmm. to get married. Mm -hmm. Those days is when people had started uh, planning their weddings through pre-weddings. Mm -hmm. I said no to that. Uh -huh. I said no, no. pre-wending. Mm -hmm. I will consolidate my own. It's me who is getting married. Mm -hmm. I will consolidate my own funds mm -hmm. uh, with also a hero. Mm -hmm. Then I call friends who will help me. Mm -hmm. I said no to. So you pre said I you, said no to pre wedding. You agreed that we are going to have a wedding, a wedding that yes. we are able to fund exactly. ourselves. Ourselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, the relatives, we, we informed the relatives, we told them, those who want to or uh, to come to our side and help us, mm -hmm. well and good. Mm -hmm. If you do not want to come, it's you okay. know we are going to make it. We will invite you in our wedding. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we started, and you see I was a student. Mm -hmm. um, the same year, I was ending uh, my college in March 85. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got employed on 1st of May. Mm -hmm. And my salary was around 750 shillings. Mm -hmm. Half of what I was supposed to get because I had not finished. Uh, finished, uh, you know, my exams were not out. Mm. And I said, I pray that God may help me. Mm -hmm. Even when uh, I went and the dowry was counted, I said, this is what I am able to pay. Mm -hmm. If you are not going to allow me to marry your daughter, mm -hmm. I can wait mm -hmm. even for four years from now if you won't be able to take what I have. Wow. After taking what um, what is normally needed mm -hmm. in our in our culture is called in Binga Nyomba, mm -hmm. in Kikuyu is called Kovanda ah, uh, So after being a nyomba, mm -hmm. I said I am able to pay only 1,800 shillings. Mm -hmm. Yes. Will you agree to take this? Then later on I'll bring the rest. If you say no, mm -hmm. I have not done anything with your daughter. Mm -hmm. I can still wait. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Eh. And they are around me. Mm -hmm. And we are under such a glorious when then we had vehicles, mm -hmm. we had ironed ourselves together with our friend, mm -hmm. one of my brothers who had brought me up because my father died when I was only 13 years, mm -hmm. he gave me a old cow to slaughter to... Your to, brother? Yes, my brother. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Kanipati uh, ngombe. Ya kusulota. So we had, we, 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 we saw God in it. Mm -hmm. And, um, I, I, I remember the day, the day of the wedding. We and we, we didn't want to have a, a, a large number into our into our queue. Mm -hmm. But well, I don't know whether it is. I would say unfortunate or fortunate. People had because um, I had a name mm -hmm. in the in the in the region yeah. mm -hmm. concerning my faith, mm -hmm. and so people <coughs> came even to our queue. I remember we and. We had only three children, mm -hmm. but adults were, were 29. The queue? Yes. Wow. 29. 29? Yes. How do you control such a number? <laughs> <laughs> eh? 29. And you see, um, mm -hmm. some said, if it is rented, it's one thing. No. Eh. I don't have to be, to be asked eh. to ask whether I will I'm be in there. the queue. We, we <laughs> saw them there. Eh? They were that number. Eh? And you see, uh, it was a very glorious moment. Yeah. But I was, I was normally, because even from that time, I'm very serious with the time. Mm. The time I had told the, 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 my pastor I would mm. take the rain day mm -hmm. for the ceremony, mm. I was late. Mm. My people pulled me back. Mm -hmm. As we were going before we went to a, to a place to pick her, mm -hmm. I went through the church. Mm -hmm. Told them you have to stop the vehicles here. Mm -hmm. I want to go and apologize to my pastor that I am late mm -hmm. before I go for her. 
wow. to ask to apologize and to to ask whether you be able to wait mm -hmm. and uh, he took my apology mm -hmm. and they waited wow. and i remember because we didn't have this instrument that you normally have here now the keyboard was drums no yes was drums yes yes <laughs> they were beaten they were like, played uh, in uh, that uh, in that ceremony until uh, they were beaten <laughs> like nothing else. Yes, <laughs> until the, 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 the pastor asked asked me, Ready did it? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Is in drum uh -huh. Zimepi wa hapa. Uh -huh. Uta na sisi kwako. Is it so this is the pig wakwako? That is what I am. Mm -hmm. Even today, mm -hmm. I remember he, told, he was telling me mm -hmm. the worshiping that has been done here, mm -hmm. make sure mm -hmm. you do it yes. even when you are to. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it, your house is like a church. That's wow. what he was saying. Oh. Let me bring in mom. Mm -hmm. Did he keep his words that his house worship? Haita Isha? Yeah, uh -huh. he kept his word. Uh -huh. Uh, because we usually have a moment mm. uh, together, mm. we worship together, mm. and then we go to intercessory. Mm. We pray for our children, mm. we pray for the church, mm. we pray for our republic, mm. we pray for all kinds of leadership. Mm. So we first we go into worship, mm. and then we do it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So fast forward, you've now gotten married, you know, you're, you're, you've become worshippers, you're worshipping in the house, then the children. Uh, the children, they also have a testimony mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they know uh, that we usually worship. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, when they were young, we used to have a family hotel together, mm. but now they are not in the house. But when they come visiting, at times the years worship, maybe mm. very early mm. in the morning, mm. and then we start praying. Mm. And at times, even with them, mm. when they come, we usually have fellowships mm. at home. Mm. So I believe it is a worshiping place. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I, I know every every marriage, mm. there are some challenges you find a couple going through. And I want us to, to take a short break. But as we come back, I want to now to come and share with us some of the challenges you've gone through in your marriage and how you've come to overcome them. Yes, and I am hosting an amazing, amazing, amazing couple, Bishop Mutegi and the wife. These are parents to me. We have, we have known each other. They have become friends. You know, and I am, I am so proud hosting them this beautiful night. And would love to know where you are watching us from. And also, if you have any question you would love them to answer, you can feel free to write it down there. We'll be able to handle all that. This is Carpo's Wheel Show, and this is where we write down our love with... While we are alive, for we don't want our love story to be read. When we are six feet under, neither do we want our love story to be read when we are gone. And that is why the Mutegis, they have come here to write or to sign their love will on couples will show while they are alive. My name is Willie Kinyash. Let's continue listening to this amazing story. So, what are some of the challenges you've gone through in your marriage? Now, um, you see, uh, marriage is one of the best institutions that God created. Mm -hmm. And especially to overcome the work of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is the most vulnerable uh, institution when it comes to attacks and challenges mm -hmm. and therefore we must be very much aware mm -hmm. um, one of the challenges that we have gone through is now trying to coordinate the you know the work 
a job of a teacher, mm -hmm. a job of, of a nurse. Mm -hmm. I married her when she was a, a nurse, mm -hmm. though today she is a, a nurse psychologist. Mm -hmm. And you see nurses, there are times that they go night, night duty. Shift. Yes. They go night duty. For example, when she was working with the government, mm -hmm. before she uh, worked with the university, mm -hmm. they used to go for seven nights. Seven nights? Yes. So for the seven nights. It's for the seven nights. Nazima upigwe na baridi. Nilazima awe kazini. Yes. And uh, now, to make the matters worse, I was teaching far. Ten kilometers away from mm -hmm. our place. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I used to ride uh, my bike for 20 kilometers a day for five days a week. 20 kilometers. Yes. And uh, one of the challenges is now mm -hmm. when she is on night duties, mm -hmm. uh, on night duty, mm -hmm. you, we, have, we have a baby. Uh -huh. And uh, she's not there. Uh -huh. One of the things I told God, my no child will ever sleep in the house down. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how young the child is. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, um, I, I made I, I made sure that I have with my children. Mm -hmm. So you, you can you can imagine a man with a with a child throughout the night, mm -hmm. and tomorrow at uh, before six you're Is on the road riding a bike, riding a bike, and mm -hmm. you're going to teach. Mm -hmm. That was a big challenge, mm -hmm. a big challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, but I took it as. Um, not as a challenge. Mm -hmm. I took it as an opportunity mm -hmm. of bonding. Wow. So, um, I, I, she used to prepare uh, everything for the child. Mm -hmm. If it's uh, napkins, it was napkins. Those days, yes, it was there not, was no uh, pampas. The pampas that yes. you're using today, they mm -hmm. are napkins. Mm -hmm. So, prepare enough napkins, mm -hmm. enough you know, warm water, mm -hmm. and if there's uh, some milk and some food, mm -hmm. and I used to wake up mm -hmm. and feed mm -hmm. and change. And you see, that one gave me very good time to board with my children mm -hmm. you see child with a mother mm -hmm. they have a covenant they have a bland covenant mm -hmm. their relationship is obvious mm -hmm. but for a man and children it's not mm -hmm. obvious mm -hmm. you have to make sure that mm -hmm. you take advantage yes of being with them mm -hmm. so that's the way i grew mm -hmm. my children uh though it was a challenge mm -hmm. and sometimes they they, they, you know, we are with them in the kitchen and cooking with them, mm -hmm. and uh, that's that's one of the challenges. And the other challenge <coughs> is finances. Mm -hmm. uh, see, when we got married, mm -hmm. each one of us was handling his or our money. Mm -hmm. But when we came together and we have two salaries, mm -hmm. it's as if yeah. you are getting a half of yeah. what you are getting. <laughs> we didn't know where more where money is going. Yeah. So now we, uh, you know, we, we landed in that kind of a challenge, mm -hmm. and you see, money is one of the uh, uh, finances. Uh, you know, is one of the areas which can break, uh, which can break a family mm -hmm. so easily. Mm -hmm. So when we saw, uh, and by the way, when we got married, she was working away. I was working in another place. So as I see, we had the two homes. Ah. And you see, uh, with that retro money, it was. Uh, it was not very easy. So you 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 were paying rent to yes, houses. two houses. Mm. Uh, it's, it's like having two homes. And mm. those days, mm. the government was very strict. Mm -hmm. You cannot talk of a house that is not known. The house has to be there and to be seen, to mm -hmm. be assessed, mm -hmm. and then for you fill forms uh, for for you know for that. And uh, sometimes your boss may refuse to sign those forms for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, we we had a great challenge, mm -hmm. uh, financial finances, because mm -hmm. we also started with uh, a sister in law and my own sister in our house, so it was not very easy. Mm -hmm. But the way we now had to overcome that mm -hmm. is uh, is making sure that, uh, in fact, the, the the scripture that helped us is a scripture that says 
that when you are very faithful with the little, mm. you also be faithful with much. Mm. We told ourselves mm. we have to be faithful. Mm. And how we get the, you know, this challenge is to, we started budgeting and managing our finances when they were, when it was like a mega thing. Mm. And let me tell you, <coughs> even now, mm. if you want to see mm -hmm. what, which month, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. we can give you a record. Wow. This is how we managed uh, 2002 mm -hmm. finances. Mm. That one has helped us mm. to overcome that. Again, to overcome it, this challenge of finances, there is no our money and my money. Mm, it, it is, is our, our, money. our money. It doesn't matter who gets much mm. or oh, who gets more. That's powerful. More than the other one. Mm. So, and uh, we therefore we manage mm -hmm. the money together. Mm. And then, after that, we share responsibilities. Mm -hmm. We will pay rent, mm -hmm. we will pay school fees, mm -hmm. we will buy food, mm -hmm. we will keep the kitchen money. Mm. Yes. Yeah. We share responsibilities, wow. so we know who is who is going to do this, what? Mm. and uh, who is going to do what. Mm. And um, when she is not there for her responsibility, mm -hmm. she will coach. She coaches me. Like for example, uh, sometimes she went for you know t to school mm -hmm. that was left there. Mm -hmm. So she had to bring the way after we have budgeted the kitchen money, mm -hmm. the way she manages them. So mm. she tells me. So the, a month we buy 15 kilos of sugar, mm -hmm. of you know, one bar of this, of that, mm -hmm. that. So that's uh -huh. how, because uh -huh. I was now left to do all Everything. that. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. I want to bring in mom. Mm -hmm. How did you, or how would you manage these two homes? Um, to start with, mm -hmm. it was a challenge. Mm -hmm. As he has said, uh, finances were a big challenge. Mm -hmm. Because those days, it's not like today, mm -hmm. when if you are married or you are not married, you are entitled for an house allowance. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, but for us, mm -hmm. whenever you got married, mm -hmm. your house allowance stops and you start paying for the house from the night of marriage. Mm -hmm. you, are, you're not, you are not entitled for house allowance. Ah. Mm -hmm. So, as a woman? Mm -hmm. Yes, as a woman. Mm -hmm. And now you see he has a house there he is paying. Mm -hmm. And uh, now there is also a, a house we have to pay. Mm -hmm. And now there is minus the money that we were having for house allowance. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately also it, it came a time they extended before they stopped. Mm -hmm. And now they stopped and started recovering. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine now we are paying the house mm -hmm. and the allowance here are required to pay, they are still recovering. Mm -hmm. In fact, one day I did a budget, we mm -hmm. did a budget, mm -hmm. and whatever I was remaining, it was only one shilling. One bob. One bob. Heavy. Yes. <laughs> and there was no food. And there was no food. Sasa is this what is called marriage? Because beforehand, I used to have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I could go anywhere, I could buy anything. Yes, I had But money now, on that. even I cannot afford food for that month. Mm -hmm. So it was a real issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, God helped us mm -hmm. because we trusted in God. Mm -hmm. He provided, mm -hmm. irrespective of How the did challenge. God provide? Maybe there's someone who is watching us and. Uh, mm -hmm. He's asking, how did he provide? I want to know, how did God provide? Uh, especially now after uh, the house allowance, they finished recovering. Mm -hmm. So at least now we had some money mm -hmm. that could be able ena be enough mm -hmm. even to do the shopping of the house mm -hmm. and do other things because our children by that time, mm -hmm. they had not gone to, to school. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, somehow, uh, I joined uh, groups with other workmates mm -hmm. uh, and we decided instead of buying things in retail, mm -hmm. we started buying things in, uh, in OSI. Mm -hmm. So, and that one it really helped me because now I started entrepreneurship in my house. Uh -huh. And, you know, we have set a certain amount. Mm -hmm. 
But now you see when you go and buy things in also and we share, mm. uh, I'll be able to save something. Mm. So I could get some money. Sometimes I could accumulate of money mm -hmm. when we are in a fix somewhere and an investor has to tow up in a maybe or two. Yeah, some money. Because uh -huh. now I, I had learned mm -hmm. how to trade within the little money that I had. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so those are ways that we are we're able because we could be able even to get mm -hmm. some money mm -hmm. out of our money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And and how did you uh in these two homes? Mm -hmm. Who used to visit who? Because now you're having two homes. Mm -hmm. So who is visiting who? Okay, initially, mm -hmm. we used to, I used, how am I we used? We used to visit one another. Mm -hmm. I may either go or he may come. Uh -huh. But now when children came there, mm -hmm. it is for him to come. Uh -huh. And at the same time, God opened a way and he got a transfer in a school. Mm -hmm. Although it was in a different district, mm -hmm. it was nearer to where we were living in Nanyuki. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are some of the challenges you went through when now you're, you're living with the children mm -hmm. and their father is away? Uh, times, uh, you know, especially children who are under five years, mm -hmm. they have a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can have fevers, you can have respiratory infections, mm -hmm. and you know most of them they come during the night. Mm -hmm. So at times you'll be forced to look for neighbors mm -hmm. who can help you mm -hmm. even to reach the hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, by God's miracle we were just leaving a place that you were taking less than 10 minutes walk. Mm -hmm. So we used to walk, you don't have to look even for vehicles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Bishop. Yes. Uh, you used to live in Anyuki. Yes. How did you find you and your family in Chuka? Um, I had moved from Chuka mm -hmm. and gave out uh, my property, mm -hmm. the house and built I gave my younger brother. Mm -hmm. And now I relocated to Nanyuki. Mm -hmm. And I Nanyuki. The mm -hmm. So and you went and settled. And I went and settled. Mm -hmm. In fact, we had uh, two pieces of land. One was two acres. The other one two and a half acres. Mm -hmm. So God provided. Uh, we built in one of them, mm -hmm. and uh, we moved in. Mm -hmm. uh, barely, uh, because I remember as we were moving in, mm -hmm. she told the women that were helping us to move. That I I thank God mm -hmm. that uh, I will now never move again. I'm moving in my own house. <laughs> Barely two weeks. Yes. God talked to me and told me, my son, you remember on 16th of March 1980, when we were in Form 6, I talked to you. And I told you, you serve me. The time has come. Prepare. It is two weeks. Yes, barely two weeks after we had moved into yes, our new home. Yes, you have built your new yes, home, exactly. magnificent home. Yes. You have moved in. Yeah, moved in. And now God speaks. God speaks. <laughs> Reminds you yes. that I spoke to you spoke some years back. Some years back. <laughs> this God. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, uh -huh. what was the problem was not calling. Uh -huh. When we, when she was... Uh, Posted the first time when she was a girl, mm. she was uh, involved in opening a church in Moyale, mm -hmm. a Pefa church. Mm. She happened to be the treasurer of the new church. Mm. So, and you know, mm -hmm. the new pastor mm -hmm. and the new church. Yes. The, the, everything <laughs> goes, everything dies or builds on the, on the treasure. Yes. So she happened to be the treasure. Uh -huh. Now, when, the, when there is no money for the church, who, who, who pays the house? It is the, the treasurer. Uh, the treasurer. <laughs> who buys the pastor food? The treasurer. So she attend anything to do with the pastor. And uh -huh. As we were engaged, he told me, mm -hmm. anything I hate is becoming a pastor's wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so now, God has spoken. Uh -huh. Because when she told me, come on, be a, me, I'm a teacher. I'm not a pastor. Mm -hmm. See me morning. Uh -huh. You can imagine now <laughs> to tell her. Uh -huh. God, God has spoken. spoken. 
Okay. She told me remember young man yeah. what we said. Eh. Uh-huh. Mkataba wetu ni kwamba mimi si mkisija si mkawapasa nitawahi kuwa mkawapasa. Eh. Uh-huh. So I told God now uh-huh. you have to deal with because I can't go alone. Yes. Kwa sababu alisema uende mahali unaenda wewe utakuwa unatukuta hapa. Eh. Uh-huh. Nikaambia Mungu because you have talked to me that I go back home because uh-huh. it was a great uh, it, it was such a, a, a thing that I could not believe. I don't go mm-hmm. home. You have said that uh, no bonde, uh, no 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 prophet mm-hmm. is hard. Is hard <laughs> at his own home. He told me yes, hundred percent is me. Uh-huh. But it's, it's also me hundred percent who is telling you go back home. Mm-hmm. Be a one, if you do what you are doing here now, you will destroy the work that you have you have created here. Mm-hmm for that time. Mm. You come back and open the church here but you are not going to be here. Mm-hmm. Move back home. Two. Mm-hmm. Your people they normally fall history of somebody before they accept him. Mm-hmm. And because they know you. Mm-hmm. When you are not born again and when you're born again and what you did, you will have a, you have a great impact back home. Mm-hmm. So I told him if when you speak to my wife Mhm. Yes, when I'll come back to you again. Wait a minute. Did God speak to you? And why did you hate to be pastor's wife? Ah, uh, as he has said. Uh-huh. Uh, I had worked in Moyare for a number of years. Mm-hmm. And then um, that time there was no Pentecostal church. Mm-hmm. In Moyare, mm-hmm. you had only an Anglican church mm-hmm. and a Catholic church. Mm-hmm. So now we were quite a number of brethren in Moyaro Hospital mm-hmm. who are Pentecostals. Mm-hmm. Then somehow the, I think it was the bishop or the, they used to call them, there's a name, I can't remember well. Mm-hmm. Uh, they used to, call, if I remember I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. So he came all the way from Masabit, he had a, uh, uh, a feeling that a church, a Pentecostal church, <coughs> should have been started in mm. uh, Moyale. Moyale. Yes. So now somehow they knew there was a fellowship mm. in the uh, in the hospital. We used to have fellowship in our. It is like our home. To na- in our homes, mm. we used to have fellowships mm. a number of times in a week. Mm. So now they approached us, and since we were all thirsty for a Pentecostal church, mm-hmm. we agreed. Mm. So now, in the process, I was made the treasurer of the church. Mm-hmm. And also when I was in Corinth, mm-hmm. I was a treasurer mm-hmm. uh, of the church. Mm-hmm. I mean of the CU. Mm-hmm. And I even we used to keep the money in the room. Mm-hmm. And so I remember times we could uh, go and count uh, uh, money. For sure, most of the times, oh, we have never had a loss. Mm. But sometimes we meet that we have even surplus more than what is documented. Mm-hmm. So what we could do, because I was an assistant treasurer, mm-hmm. because uh, the treasurer was a married woman, mm-hmm. and at times she could go home because, you know, a married person is not like the single. Mm. That's why they see you purpose to have a vice, mm. a vice che- uh, treasurer. Mm. Whenever now we go to our accounts to when we count the amount, mm-hmm. you know, it's more than what was documented. Mm-hmm. We used to go and put it uh, back again mm-hmm. in the in the offering bag. Mm-hmm. You know, you just put it there together you are with your new, mm-hmm. because we wanted to be trusted mm-hmm. by God mm-hmm. and even by men. Mm-hmm. So you know, if and if we wanted to share that money, we could have shared. Mm-hmm. But now, since we had the fear of God in us, mm-hmm. would we would take that money and put it back mm-hmm. in the offering basket. Ba- basket. Mm-hmm. And uh, now, you know, in the CU, there was a lot of discipline and things were done in our order. Mm-hmm. And you could be accountable. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, when we started the Pentecostal church, that's where we, I had a lot of challenges. Mm-hmm. Because most of the members, they said, they cannot tithe mm-hmm. in this new church. You know mm-hmm. it is our church, mm-hmm. but now they cannot tithe there mm-hmm. because at home they mm-hmm. have their mother churches mm-hmm. where they are supposed to tithe. Mm-hmm. 
and there is no way they can tithe anywhere else. It's only an offering they can give. Mm. So now, at times, you could get in short of finances, as he has said. Mm. You mean the ha pastor has no food? Mm. So, and there, were, there was no system that was set. So he could come to, uh, to me, he would tell me, give this money, give me this money. You know, it is between me and him. Mm. So there is no member who has known if I give him, yeah. if I give him or not. Mm. So me, because of the discipline that we had in Corinth, I was feeling mm -hmm. maybe at times when we are told to account for this money, mm -hmm. maybe they will suspect that uh, I'm the one who was using that money. Mm -hmm. But we had to defer with the pastor and Kamambi uh, from a certain time, we shall not work like that. Mm -hmm. You have to document when I give you money, you have to know the amount that I've given you. Mm -hmm. So he was annoyed because he didn't want that. Mm -hmm. So he took the book and decided to give somebody else to be the treasurer because mm -hmm. I was very strict. Mm -hmm. uh, and then even before that, at times when I see he doesn't have food or the house is not paid, God had blessed, uh, had blessed me with a, a good salary for that time mm -hmm. because at times I could pay even the rent for the pastor's house and at times I would give him money even for food. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing now and you say Mamesha, okay. And still when we are in colleges, mm -hmm. uh, there are churches, there is a church that we used to go mm -hmm. and I had seen a lot of weaknesses mm -hmm. because especially we used after service, we all used to go to the pastor's house. Young mm -hmm. youth and old women <laughs> to Nakula Lanji Uko. Uh -huh. So now Nikashindwa, we so mean our uh, pastor's wife will never have any privacy. Uh -huh. Anybody can come to your house at any time. Any time. You can say, Mami, this kind of life. Uh -huh. Because at times, because we had different pastors, uh -huh. uh, before one, I mean, one passed on and then there's somebody who took over. Uh -huh. So the one who took over, he managed to hire a house uh -huh. in the middle of town, uh -huh. in Nyeri town. Uh -huh. And so, we, when somebody comes from Nairobi, even at 3 a.m., you find them, they knock at the pastor's house. They want to be in the pastor's house. So you can imagine at 3 a.m., baby, a pastor, 3 a.m., what you are nini? Sini lazima auto apika. 3 a.m.? Yes. Kiwa shirika. So, nika ona me, I wouldn't like to be a pastor's wife. I, and me, I'm an introvert. Mm -hmm. I like a lot of... Mm -hmm. Uh, in uh, privacy, life, I don't, yes. yeah, yeah, I want to live my life. Mm -hmm. Not everybody knows mm -hmm. what is happening within me. So me, I was feeling, no, mm -hmm. this is not the kind of life that I would want. That's why I didn't want. I wanted to live we, with a person. We can go for missions. Mm -hmm. We can serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, God spoke. Yes. And now, mm -hmm. yes, and now, mm -hmm. and I told God we have to speak to her. Mm -hmm. And I waited mm. as I was preparing mm. the way I went over mm. to the church that I was having because mm. I believe that uh, in service is gone service. Mm. When God spoke to her, mm. in fact, the other one was Kisha. Wow. The same person yes. who would say, say I, do, I hate yes. to be pastor's yeah. wife. The other one was Kisha. Wow. And in fact, <laughs> transpire, transpire, can you talk and bear your hand? Ya kuenda huko. Chuka. Ya kuenda, ya, ku, ya, ku, ya kuenda chuka. Uh -huh. Na wakati ya likuwa na jaza, uh -huh. form ya transfer. Haku sema naenda nyumbani, uh -huh. alisema I am going to join my family. In Chuka Town. In Chuka Town. Uh -huh. Because home uh -huh. is still in my mind. Yes. Na nyuki. Uh -huh. And uh, God opened away. We, we moved. Uh, the church that uh, we were serving, uh -huh. uh, that time, they, 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 in fact, it was a, a sad moment that they were getting us by because they were thinking, why don't we give you mm -hmm. one of our churches or you, we open a church for you? Mm -hmm. I, told, I told, told them, I follow the voice of God. You can see, I had already said, I have already said, I have already said, I have already Nime nunua land. Mm, I'm invested. Yes. Sasa, and now I'm moving again. And then I am moving to Kwenda Kukomboa. Mm. 
because I'm, I, I'm moving in a new place. Mm. So, but we moved. Mm. And, uh, so you sold the house in Nanyuki? It, it took time. Mm -hmm. I think we sold that house after nine years. Mm. Because we still, mm -hmm. we were not still convinced mm -hmm. that God will not say something else that we would <laughs> So after that nine God years, might uh, speak and say, go back to the yes. end. <laughs> uh -huh. So we sold after nine, after nine years. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. God is gracious. Mm -hmm. The place we were going, it mm -hmm. was not a simple place. Mm -hmm. It was a place we didn't know that it was a very unsafe place. When we told people where we are going, Mm -hmm. A particular place at Chuka, because we were sent at a particular place. That place was very unsafe, mm -hmm. very unsafe, mm -hmm. uh, both spiritually mm -hmm. and also physically, because we had thieves, robbers, mm -hmm. robbers in that area, mm -hmm. some international robbers. Mm -hmm. International. Why in that place? International robbers. People, mm -hmm. Yeah, people that use gun. Where? <laughs> Uh, and, and these are the petty, petty thieves mm -hmm. because we lost a lot of property. Una chanjiko, pale inje ina bepo pamoja na na geveli. It was very. Tini ita me kago. Very unsafe. Yes, because. We, uh, Mimi ni Mkulima, we are the cows. Wait a minute, Bishop. So, you are cooking in there. Yes. You go somewhere there. Yeah, there. You come back. You come back. There is no Jiko. Yeah. There is no Iveri. Yes. <laughs> it was <laughs> such a safe place. <laughs> and that's where God and, and said us. <laughs> in that place, we lost three cows. And one. What? Mugui kabebo ni kona imewe kwa hapa na na wezi na wakaondoka. But uh, God delivered that place. And when God came, I remember twice uh, robbers and to be and to be cornered by the police in that place five at once were killed mm -hmm. by police. Five. In another place, five were killed. God had to come in, in himself mm -hmm. to deliver us. But God talked to me and told me, my servant, five years from now, this place will be the safest place, mm -hmm. will be one of the best places. Because people are not going to school, there was a lot of immorality, there was a lot of witchcraft. Mm -hmm. In fact, there, there was one witch in that town who was uh, who was doing witchcraft when she was naked. She was a woman, mm -hmm. naked. Mm -hmm. And one time she, she she did it at the stage when mm -hmm. she was naked. And mm -hmm. one person came to my uh, came to my to my to my office and asked me, "Servant of God, don't we have a man of God who can say something mm -hmm. concerning what is happening here?" Mm -hmm. I remember, I told I told her. Mm -hmm. I, I told him, mm. wait and 14 days from now, mm. mm -hmm. that witch woman died 30 meters from my house. Mm -hmm. And God cleared that place. Wow. And we have seen, God told me, these people have to change, those who, are who will not change, mm -hmm. they will move from this place or they will die. Mm -hmm. In fact, some of the people are, are to die. Mm -hmm. I saw the people that cut my my cow's leg die. So after they cut that one leg, mm -hmm. did they come for for the rest? Now, I came to know they came for the rest after one year. 
because after uh, one year yes because uh, the, the following morning i went to the livestock office um they told me now we have to uh, we, they, they came uh, they came to see what had happened they they wrote a report they also gave me uh, a barrier permit yeah here on home because <laughs> you see it was a crime yeah i could not have done anything mm -hmm. now and I thought, uh, nikizika ni hii, uh, the carcass, niweke ndawa hili iweze. Lakini, something else told me, no, don't do that. Do you know, I came to know one year later, they came for that one which I buried. Uh -huh. Likely, I never put anything that would have finished people. Mm -hmm. Yes. I came, I, I came to know it after um, children were talking. <coughs> they were saying, Uliona hilo mtoto alikuwa na ziko njana. Ni moja wa wale walipewa soup ya ngombe ya pasta ile walienda kutoa mahali aliweka. Ah. Oh no. Yes. Ni watoto walikuwa walifanya nijue. Mm -hmm. Wakisema, "Unaona yule mtoto alizikwa njana pale?" Ni moja wa wale watoto walipewa ile soup. Wale waliua ngombe ya pasta mm -hmm. na tena wakaenda wakajukua mahali iliwekwa. Mhm. Mm Uyo mdoto walikunyo yu ah, 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 ah. So, um, they came for they came for it, but I came to know one year uh, later. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have liked the place. The place has been transformed. Today, yeah. mm -hmm. the place as you can go fifth, uh, they need 200 meters without a church. Wow. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are churches all over. Mm -hmm very big churches mm. and we told god no church genuine church shall open <coughs> after us mm -hmm. or will go through what we went through amen we told god we have paid the price mm -hmm. and we have seen god is so faithful amen so it has been such a gracious moment that's how we moved that's how we found ourselves in chuka mm -hmm. but our children also mm -hmm. As young as they were, mm. they understood. Mm -hmm. They understood it's we are we, we have been sent. Even now, when they are adults, they know ours is a priesthood family. Mm -hmm. So whatever they do, mm -hmm. they do as priest. Mm -hmm. And we have around because because if I go back as she was speaking, she she spoke about family order. Mm -hmm. I am one of those people who value, who, who know the value of family authors. Mm -hmm. Because I normally say, uh, Mr. Willie, uh, life has got no riazo. Mm -hmm. It has got no riazo. riazo. Mm -hmm. Every bit of life is important. Mm -hmm. Every bit of life mm -hmm. is very important. Mm -hmm. And one of the things mm -hmm. that we value is mm -hmm. in every stage of our children, mm -hmm we make sure that we are preparing them for life mm -hmm. we invest not only just for them mm -hmm. but in them in them is the yeah the best mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. and i remember my son uh when when we were when we were when our young when our church was very young mm -hmm. she used to draw pictures of everybody mm -hmm. and she would tell me daddy this is the church we you know we you know mom we only Baba so and so, we only Mama so and so, mm -hmm. and then she would prepare our own uh, our own reports and said, "I want Nataka kutangaza kwa kwa kanisa, Nataka kuni saindi kuni mwezesa nitangaza." Na na pati wa mefanya taaliba yake, ni kona Biblia na manene ya Biblia na hivi. Na nitangaza and today. I wonder that whatever whatever was planted in those days is what, yes. is what the guy is doing today. Yes. So so. Uh, we know that we are a priest whole family. Mm -hmm. Not really becoming pastors, all of us. Mm -hmm. But we believe that in every area that God places us, mm -hmm. we prepare because in us, as the Bible <coughs> says in uh, Romans, that gifting and calling mm -hmm. can never be revoked. There irrevocable they are irrevocable mm. they are in you so mm. you see we it is in you as because our bodies are the 
you know the the you know what what I would call hardware. Mm -hmm. So they need a software mm -hmm. to be able to manifest. Mm -hmm. So you can they can either manifest as you serve God or as you serve the devil. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have already we we normally teach ourselves that whatever God has called us to do, mm -hmm. it is service to God Amen. in every area that God has given us. Amen. That's that's what uh, we have known. Therefore, in every stage of life, mm -hmm. we have earned, we have earned, have earned get together mm -hmm. and and a meeting to ask where are we going. Just even if God has given us our individual ways of working, mm -hmm. but also where are we? Are we on the track? Mm -hmm. Because we should do everything that we do. Wow. Uh, we believe that we are serving the living God. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm told that our time is up. Yes. But before we wind up, I want to give mom this chance for two minutes. I want you to speak to women out there who are married to pastors and maybe they are feeling like the way you used to feel before. I, I hate to be pastor's wife. Speak to such women for two minutes. Uh, thank you so much, Willie. Uh, I would like to encourage uh, the ladies who are married to pastors. The secret is that you have to be a prayer warrior. Because if you can be able to intercede uh, for the husband, he shall be able to have breakthrough even in the ministry. Mm -hmm. And maybe the challenges or conflicts that usually comes when you take them to the Lord, uh, he is able to overcome for you. Mm -hmm. So, and also again, you see, it is God who has purposed you or you at uh, whom who is listening or me. It is God who had a, a purpose even for me to be there uh, and serve him in that way, being the pastor's wife. Mm -hmm. And I don't regret mm -hmm. because I've found uh, satisfaction mm -hmm. in serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I feel there's <coughs> nothing else better I would do than that. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I know it is not in vain, as the Bible says, mm -hmm. there is a reward. Yes. And so I have kept on focusing mm -hmm. to God mm -hmm. and believing that he shall give me victory mm -hmm. till I shall come out of this world mm -hmm. in victory. Wow. So I would encourage them, if they really sincerely intercede mm -hmm. for themselves, for the pastor, the church, mm -hmm. they will have that victory mm -hmm. because God does not live his people are on. Even if it seems like it is taking too long, mm -hmm. God will bring it to a completion Amen. because he is a faithful God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Thank you very much. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm grateful that you came. You, you drove all the way from Chuka to come and be on Kapo's Wheel. I feel honored. So thank you very much for coming. And uh, there's something we always do before we end the show. And so, I want to give you this chance. Uh, I know you have worked together for 37 years, but uh, I, want, I want you to look at your wife. Yes, Mwangaliane. <laughs> and uh, I want to give you, ma'am, a chance mm -hmm. to speak to your lovely husband. Mpatie maneno ya tatoka kwa mwe wako. Yes. Uh, I am grateful to God uh, for giving me a man like you uh, because uh, before I was engaged to you, I was telling the Lord that I would love to get married to a man that will help me to grow spiritually and uh, I've really seen it and I know you are my pastor and I respect you for that. And uh, I know God is going to take us far because he is faithful. And I think no other person would have helped me because even in my times of weaknesses, you know how to handle me and to help me. When you see maybe my faith is low or when you find maybe at times I might be physical other than spiritual, you always correct me in love and I have taken it. God bless you. 
for the days of your life. Amen. Yeah. Wow. Powerful. Mm. And now it is your turn. Yeah, thank you uh, <coughs> for being not only a wife, but a friend. Uh, a friend. You've taught me many things. I was brought up uh, in Ambushe place where I didn't know many modern things. But you taught me to be a modern man so that I can be all the way uh, in and out of season. Uh, I will be a man that is updated. And uh, you've also taken time to make sure that my children are well nourished and brought up together with me. Even sometimes when I've, the Lord speaks and we take the whole money to the ministry, we have never refused and the Lord has ever helped us to move. Uh, you are a great gift, a uh, gift to me. And thank you for accepting me and uh, for being with me for those m uh, many years. And I know we are going far because God has called us to serve him. Thank you for helping me to be, uh, to, to have, because any legacy that a man can leave is a family, even a church minister. Because a church minister who doesn't understand things about the family uh, is not a minister. Because a minister, the first service is to God, the second service is to the family, and the third service is to the church. In the community so thank you for helping me never to regret my family and uh, i believe that uh, i will love you more than i've ever loved you before because Amen. i know love wow. is a commitment not a feeling wow mm. love is a commitment, commitment not, not a, a feeling. feeling yes wow powerful words thank you very much you are a good example to us and uh, I can see one of your daughter is in the studio and she's excited. Now she needs to know that this, wa this thing works. It works. And so <laughs> she has gotten the first hard information yes. before it is even edited. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much for coming. Thank you. And as you thank go you. back to Chuka, yes. uh, carry our love. And um, Salimia Kanisa Sana. Kanisa. So the, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank okay. you sir, for Amen. giving this opportunity. Yes. We are so much grateful. Yes. We like this. Yeah. This is our work. Yes. Yes. Thank you. God bless mm -hmm. you. Wow. Amen. Wow. I have laughed in this show, but tonight I have even shed tears laughing. What a story. What an amazing journey. What is it that you're going through and you're saying, this is too hard, we can't handle it. You have heard their story. If they managed it, even you, you can. This is Kapo's Will Show and this is where we write down our love will, when we are alive. For we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under. And you can only find this on Kapo's Will Show. And on Wema TV, the voice of hope. My name is Willy Kinyash. And kindly, you can follow us on all our social media platforms. That is Wema TV on Instagram, on Facebook, uh, YouTube. Follow us, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you'll be able to receive such great love stories and other more. This is Wema TV and we are the voice of hope. Hope. And for now, it is a good night. God bless you and God bless your marriage. God bless your relationship. May the Lord see you through. Also, remember to follow me on Facebook as Willy Kinyash. You can also like my page, Willy Kinyash underscore Kapo's Will. And you'll be able to interact more there. Kwaheri Nisana, see you on Friday. <music>